Welcome to Golf Business Academy, Mark Dickinson with you. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to Denise. Denise is an artist and has been resident in Dubai for the last seven, eight years. And she's come up with something fantastic. And it's all about changing the way you think and how you use your creativity. So we've invited Denise along today because we think that during this time, obviously it's a crisis, but we need to be able to dig inside, dig deep, find something that is going to inspire us to go forwards. And I think Denise has that. So Denise, good afternoon and welcome. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for inviting me to the show. Thank you. Great. So Denise, why don't you kick off and tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, how it started. Okay, sure. So uh, We Love Art. So We Love Art, I started it as a passion project, really, actually. And uh, now it has grown into a big community with more than thousands of people. So I'm very happy with that regard already. We offer um, social evenings where people drink a little bit and they paint famous masterpieces. We have inspiring courses and we have really exciting corporate events. So these are the things that we're doing at the, uh, well before the crisis. And now we are going to shift to something new, to something that I have right next to me. It's the Wheel of Art box. And uh, basically it enables people to create something that they're going to be very proud of, but then in the comfort of their own home this time. Because of course, we don't know how long this is going to be. So, uh, well, and even after the crisis, it doesn't really matter. So you will get with uh, a click on a button, if you purchase, you will receive this beautiful box. And in this box, it has all the ingredients basically to create your own masterpiece. It has uh, a pre-sketch canvas of any of the famous pieces what I have in the gallery online. Uh, it has uh, paints, brushes, a book. Can you, can you open the box? I can, I can, but... Or do you have, do you have another one that's open? <laughs> yes, because this is, this is an empty one. <laughs> Just, okay, show uh, us one that's open, we'd like to see. Okay, 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 look, so if you open the box, right? If you open the box, you will find, like for example, Van Gogh, Starry Night. So you will find like a pre-sketch of a famous piece. I choose Van Gogh now for this demo because of course Van Gogh is Dutch, I am Dutch. So. Here you okay. go, the free sketch canvas. Then you will also have all the, um, well, all the colors, like it's all like all the colors, seven colors basically. I, I haven't put them all in my hands, but seven colors with Good. a very generous amount because I, when I paint, I just find it so important that, that you, you can create texture, that you're never limited by the amount of colors, but that's really important. And then we will have, but we'll talk about it later, but we will have brushes. Um, these are demo brushes because we are still waiting for our supply. Uh, but these are demo brushes, but they will have like really good branded Wheel of Art brushes in the box as well. And then they will get a booklet, which is going to guide them step by step through the painting and a tutorial. So I will be basically in their home guiding them through this painting and telling them all the tips and tricks to create something they're going to be so proud of and that they feel like a true artist. That is amazing. And how good an artist do you need to be to produce something uh, with this process? No, honestly, because I have this pre-sketch compost, this pre-sketch compost is going to help you so much. And of course, I am there to guide you. So you, you, you can be like, you, you, there's no need that you have ever touched a brush before. Like you can be a complete newbie, but also people who have already painted before. Like it is actually fun for all of them. I, I've done these uh, events, so Norman events. Huh? So I've done these events in Dubai already. And it was always quite funny because then people are a little bit skeptical, maybe afraid or nervously laughing. And they're uh, yeah, a bit like they enter the room and they're like, oh, but I've never painted before. How can I create Starry Night? And always, always at the end of an event, they go home with like the biggest smile and they're so happy with what they've created and they just probably couldn't imagine that this is what you can do even if you have no experience whatsoever. Fantastic. And uh, can we order the wine to go with it? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> You have to, that's your next step, right? Make a link up because now they're I delivering. Know, I know, I know, there should be wine. <laughs> I actually said it the other day. I said we should have wine with it. Definitely. It helped. It helped. Yeah. Well, now they're delivering. So if you have a liquor license, you can get a delivery legally. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. 
Great. So, Denise, what was the spark that made you switch instantly to a, you know, online model, if you will? Okay. Um, so, well, shall I maybe first talk about the spark, how I created this business, maybe? So, sure, sure. <laughs> So no, first, maybe I'll take you back a little. So um, I, well, I'm from the Netherlands, you probably hear that from my very strong accent. And in 2013, I moved here with an Irish guy. Uh, I didn't know him that well, but I moved here. I thought, you know, I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm just going to try it. So I moved here out of love. And then I came to Dubai. And I think many people have that in general. Like I came to Dubai and it just felt like a Disneyland. You know, there were so many opportunities. And I think, I, think you, I think people can feel it. It's like a Disneyland for adults, like opportunities everywhere. And uh, I have a, a master's in law, so something completely else. But when I came here, I thought I'm going to completely start all over again. And um, yeah, and I thought I'm going to start with my passion, which is art. Uh, so this is how I started. And no, seven years ago, I had my very first uh, class with seven people or 10 people in it. Uh, and since then, the word has spread, it, which I am very, very grateful for because I don't know anything about marketing. I, I had to talk to people who do know, but it, I don't know. Maybe as a law degree and uh, an artist, you, you're maybe not very good in the marketing side. So these people in my community, they have done the spreading um, of the artistic love for me. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So uh, that, that was the first one. And then the spark why... Why I started, um, why I started this this company in, in general was, you know, and I think many people will have that maybe when they come to Dubai and what well, I had that initially is, you know, I came here and I, I just felt like a hint of insecurity, like you you come to a new place, you leave everyone behind, uh, you don't know anyone, and uh, no job. I had nothing, right? So I was, yeah, and no one basically. And I just wanted to find friends. <laughs> yeah, that was actually, yeah, I just wanted to find friends, people I could connect with. And I thought I was actually looking for community as something as well I had built. And uh, uh, I couldn't find it. So that's, yeah, that's why I thought, you know, if I'm looking for something, maybe other people are looking for something as well. So for that community uh, and, and yeah, this, this, is how, this is how it started. And then for the, for the paint and gray, for that wine and the, and the famous piece is, is purely because I think, I think it's so nice if you, even if you have never painted before, even if hey, you've never touched a brush before, but it's so nice if you receive a package or you come to one of the events and you can actually create something you're going to be so proud of. You're going to create your own wall of fame at home. I mean, people are going to come later once the lockdown is over, but people will come enter your house and they see your kind of own gallery for me i think yeah i i just just love that idea like people have never done something maybe before and that they can create something of their own great and can we order that now is it ready yes so okay so it is it is ready so the beta version is ready let's say so we are working really day and night actually while the rest of the world slows down but we are working day and night to get the website, so we have wheelofart.com now. So first it was wheelofart.ae, but now it's the .com. And so the website is getting ready. We are waiting a little bit on shipment of some of the items. Yeah, I mean, everyone is in the same situation, but um, most of the stuff I have already at home. And at the moment, uh, I, uh, yeah, I already started uh, shipping out some better versions to people here in Dubai who have caught the word early because I, again, I haven't marketed anything. And I do that on purpose because we haven't officially launched yet. So you're actually the first one to, to know. It's, it's the, the people who only got the better version was because they asked me actually, they asked me online, hey Denise, do you have something? Because we also want to do some painting break, but then at home, and then I said, okay, well, we have this box. <laughs> so yeah, you, you have so your marketing just your marketing just started. First of all, you have a fantastic smile and you have great energy, and that's the first rule of marketing is smile. Um, Denise's greatest moment so far, what's it been? Okay, okay so I think, yeah, I, I'm a huge believer in celebrating any kind of success, so I celebrate very often. Um, yeah, it's just something I do. So I remember um, 
the first time when I was hosting my very big event and there were like loads of people and prior to the people came in the room I was doing you know with a microphone I was doing like test 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 and I remember just feeling like some sort of a Beyonce on stage um, I don't know it just felt really really cool like to be in front of so many people and so many people would come to your paint and grave so for me that was a really amazing moment and we had uh, yeah, the, the best moment when one of the biggest uh, tech com companies did uh, the, the corporate event with us. But I think so, these are amazing moments. But for me, the most memorable moment is um, something what is tied into a yeah, very personal story. So in, a, in yeah, my greatest loss, I would say as well. So in 2017, we, uh, well, we had another baby. So we had Bowden. So we have three kids actually. Uh, and we had another baby, his name is Bowden, and uh, one day after he was born, he, uh, he passed away. So, um, yeah, that was a very tragic experience for, for me, for my husband, for, for my son, for, for yeah, anyone. But I think as parents, you're hit most hard with that. And uh, I just felt, yeah, I just felt empty, you know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it, it was just very, uh, yeah, it's difficult, like, I even get still very emotional if I talk about it now and uh, right. and the community and that that's for me is probably my greatest moment like the community and it's really true the community kind of pulls you through it right um, like I got messages I got flowers from people all from a community and every year so his birthday is on the 1st of April so just recently so every year I uh, I normally okay now not in lockdown but every year normally I dedicate a painting to him and then I give a speech to everyone in the room or who joined the event and I'm well, I'm always crying during the speech but then it's it's just so beautiful because people sing happy birthday for him they they you know it's he's really remembered and what I love about it is that this community now you can see how connected we are all like how connected we all are um because i remember in one of the events that i dedicated to him that one of the women there she had like loads of friends with her and uh and then she also shared her story to her friends with which her friends never knew that she also had five losses you know is something what's so common and no one talks about it and right I, now you can just feel how amazing a community and how strong that is yeah, and I'm so grateful for that, actually. So yeah, that, uh, that's my best moment, let's say. Wow, well, that's so deep. And first of all, sorry for your loss and happy birthday from a few days ago for Bowdoin. That, that's Thank very you. recent. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Denise, obviously this crisis is going to end. Um, and I'm interested in you know, how you're talking about community and everyone coming together in those difficult times. You know, first of all, during this stage, everyone can come together. Even though we're socially separated, we can still oh, yeah. come together. Yeah. Um, and then what's going to happen at the end? What's the next step? What's business going to be? What's your point of view? Yeah, so I think, you know, um, well, first of all, we live in a country in the UAE and I it's so well managed it's really well led so I really think that this country is going to kind of power us through this whole crisis um, for us we love art well like I said before like we love art we have been working really hard over the last couple of months almost a year on uh, creating this this product this box um, and uh, already now I can feel that there's yeah that there's such a growing demand on uh, you know, from people at home that they want to create something themselves. And uh, like we said before, it is, it is also an opportunity to indeed bring people together, even if we are over a distance, even if we're not together. Um, we can create some sort of a community online as well. And people are going to create beautiful masterpieces at home. They get a beautiful box. And uh, uh, yes, so I think after crisis or before or in crisis, we can all try to make the best of it. For now right and so when when it's over what's going to be your approach what are you going to do first well the most important thing i think approach wise is um and not even when it's over because we don't know when it's over so i i i prefer to talk about maybe now because we don't know when it's going to be it might take years before it's over so now okay. my approach is going to be that um 
I'd like to give the people the same warmth, the same creativity, what, like the lessons what we have in the physical world. I want to give them exact same energy, the exact same level of uh, warmth and creativity to them at home. And it doesn't matter where they are in the world. What I find really important for us as a company, what we've done in the physical world. So create some sort of a safe space, a community space where people can come relax, forget about their daily lives and create something they're going to be very proud of. So it's like all unlocking those um, hidden artists anywhere else in the world. So this is what our new approach is for instead of in the physical world, we need to get that warmth and creativity across in the online world. So with all your passion and all your energy, uh, which is coming over in waves, uh, doesn't really matter, right? You can do it now online, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You mean, uh, yeah, 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 definitely. We, we are now building this whole online experience. And yeah, exactly. It's, I, I think it doesn't really matter. Like my level of engagement with people, for example, like it was of course really there in the physical world because I'm, I was right next to them and uh, had like my level of engagement was there. But I think the same for, for online, it doesn't really matter because in the end, I'll be on their screen uh, guiding them through painting. So arguably I'm more ever connected with them than ever before. So right. I think, yeah, I think it doesn't matter. And will you do classes? Because yesterday I was in a conference, there were 75 people in the conference and everybody was on screen uh, and you know different people were talking at different times and sharing their thoughts and so on uh, and we had presentations and all of this was live it was online um, which for me was a first to be with 70 odd people online in the same conference and having all these screens would you be able to do that with art so I need to understand this. So you were in, the, in a conference, 75 people, and they were watching all the same, like one teacher basically, and they were guiding them through. Is that it? And they all had their own glass yeah. of wine. Sounds really fun. Well, they didn't have their own glass of wine. It wasn't a, a wine <laughs> thing. It was a business thing, but everyone was online. You could see all their faces. And then you had the moderator uh, on one screen and then, you know, 70 other people. I think you could great. Page page through the screens and see different people and stuff. So uh, is that what it's going to be? Well, it's, I, I, I love the idea. I'm going to write it down immediately after. So it's a great idea um, because what I like about that idea is, is that it's really community. So you really have the feeling you're still sitting with, with those 75 other people in the room. This experience yeah. is, is beautiful in the sense that you will get like, you know how I see this product. It's like you will get a beautiful box. So it already starts with the experience when once you receive that box. It's um, it feels for me like a very luxury box, you know. So you open that, then you you get out like your beautiful canvas. You sit at home, you pour yourself whatever drink you want to, and you're gonna paint. And you know this painting. I don't know. Have you ever painted before? Have you? Yeah. Ever? Yeah. I don't know if you agree with me, but for me, you know, if I paint and I hear this so often, it kind of transforms you into your own imaginary world you forget about you really forget about everything else it's so you you can do it with people and with friends because now i see people i have families are doing it or they get the boxes but you can also do it alone and it's just this box contains for me more than a painting it kind of contains time like quality time for yourself to just enjoy life well for 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 this amount of time and hopefully longer as well but yes I think it's just a little gold dust. For me, it is, uh, that, that is that. And how long does it take to complete a painting normally? What's the normal time frame? So in our normal events, so the physical events in Dubai, we count three hours. So three hours to create a painting of your own and it's all famous art. So it could range from Mona Lisa, uh, the, the Starry Night, Girl with Pearl Earring. So it's, it, they're quite, uh, well, it's fun to see this, but without any painting experience, you could do it in three hours. However, if you decide to split it up over a couple of days, it's fine as well. You just, once you're in a creative flow, I at least have that. I find it very difficult to stop. But you, you people decide how long they want to do it because that's the beauty now, right? Now they have it in their own home. And I saw also that on your Instagram, you've been doing this beautiful thing with taking masters and then people having to pose and shoot a picture 
that looks like the master. Yeah, yeah, you know, a bit of like we need to get a bit of cultural vibes back in the homes, you know, like some people, I'm certainly not, but some people feel bored and being bored is perfect as well, right? Because in being bored, you will create. I always love if my kids are being bored because it means that then the creation starts. So if people feel bored, then just grab some items from your house and try to make a beautiful masterpiece from it because you, you really don't need much to recreate something. And it's like in reality, so hey, that you just take a picture or you create a beautiful painting. You know, it's the process what you should be enjoying. You should be enjoying, if possible, this time at home as well. Of course, I understand if, if you're in a dangerous situation, then of course not, but yes. So I want you to share me a couple of those pictures so we can put them in the link so people can see those down below. Can you do that? Yes, deal. We'll do that. Brilliant. Um, I just want to ask you, what do you think mm -hmm. is going to happen to customer behavior post coronavirus? What do you think is going to be there? What are their values going to be? How is that going to change? So you mean like the, the different values they will be having? Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, I think the most important thing is, is authenticity. And I really think that in general, in your business, <clears throat> now we have so many people, everyone, the whole world is basically going to go online because that's our only option at the moment, right? So we're all going to go online. So I think what's now really important with all these players online is that you really stay authentic, straight, true to your brand. Um, and hopefully the people with passion, with knowledge about their, their subject and with some depth. And it doesn't matter about what the subject is. Like that really doesn't matter. But as long as you're there to you know, very passionately try to share your message, I think the, the authentic people, they will hopefully <laughs> rise. <laughs> yeah, so I hope. Right. Okay, and what, what do you think, you know, what do you think will change in terms of which values will disappear, which will cease to exist, if you will, or they'll become of very low importance? Well, I don't know in general. Well, I think from, I don't know, like, I think the values which are gonna disappear is probably the fact that it's not only about work and routine, right? So I've seen it with Bowdoin, of course, and I see it now with the coronavirus. Life is short. Life is short, guys. Right. Like, enjoy it while you can. If you're now at home, being bored, take this opportunity to create something that you're really passionate about because everyone has a passion. And if you don't know a passion, try to write down what, what, what's on your head. But I think try to really understand that life can be over within a second. So if you can still be here, then try to just make most of it. That's what I really think. So it's not only about Denise, work. my last question for you. Uh, it's a little bit fanciful. Just I'm thinking that, you know, the cure is going to be found or a vaccine is going to be found. You know, we're talking uh, two days ago that Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, they're starting a vaccine trial uh, on Monday. So definitely we're going to have a moment when people are going to feel a sense of, wow, it's okay. Uh, what's going to happen? Yeah. Okay. So, um, no, well, first I think, I think I'm going to share here a very favorite quote of mine from Van Gogh. So he say, says, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. So I, how I interpret that is, is that, and I said it before already, like, it's important that we already start celebrating little, little successes now. So you're in your own home. Try to already get, get that creativity flowing. Try to already do something with, with your passion and celebrate these little moments together. Even see it as a blessing, right? To spend extra time with your family or, or at home or have the time to do things now. And of course, then once that moment comes that we get the vaccine, then let's just all celebrate together because we've all been in this. And I can really feel already, I mean, you see it in Italy, you see it in the Netherlands, you see it here. But the harmony, it kind of brings people more together. And I think we should hold that and celebrate all together once we have that vaccine. Fantastic. Well, Denise, really appreciate you sharing all your energy and your passion today with us. Uh, this is Golf Business Academy. I'm Mark Dickinson. And many thanks to you, Denise, for being part of this today. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you for having me on the show.
Okay, guys, stay tuned. We have more exciting interviews coming your way. Thanks for watching.